tonight at 6, workers held up at gunpoint, customers assaulted, and young kids landing in the hospital. This all happening at fast food restaurants across Northeast Ohio. I was scared. I think I was just trying to stay alive. It was the scariest thing that I've ever been through. And with all of this violence, are fast food workers even trained to handle this? Only on News 5, Amanda Van Allen talked to some workers today. And Amanda, what did they say about safety protocols? Well, honestly, Danita, they tell me they don't really have any. I talked to the guy who works at the Dunkin Donuts here. They were held up on New Year's Eve, and he says he had no idea what to do in that situation. And in terms of the stabbing incident that happened at Burger King, Police tell me those employees called them way too late. Confusion and chaos at a Burger King in Ritman when a 17 year old allegedly stabbed two young men. I got cut above the eye and then like on the eyelid there was a little cut and then down my nose like was cut almost off. They had to like hold it together while in the ambulance and then he cut my lip open and my arm. After the suspect allegedly stabbed a 14 year old, police say he went outside and stabbed 13 year old Cyrus Jervis. The surveillance video shows Cyrus yelling something to the suspect from a distance. The 17 year old then sprints at him and Cyrus retreats with his hands up. The rest of the fight is mostly off camera, but police say that's when he got stabbed several times in the face. Ritman police say employees should have called them much sooner. Would have been great to get there in enough time had we known what was going on with the fight and maybe stopped this from occurring. She was right in front of the window. I was standing right next to her and he clocked her in the face. And at a McDonald's in Sandusky, police say an employee was punched in the face by this man because he was upset about his order. The ex-employee who quit after that terrifying night told me over the phone that she has never been trained for any of this. So what is the um, protocol? Like, what did they train you guys to do to, like, keep yourselves safe? <laughs> they didn't train us to do anything. I mean, like, literally, they, they show you how to take an order. They show you how to cook, and that's all they show you. And it was the same story from an employee at a Dunkin' Donuts in South Euclid that was robbed at gunpoint just a few days back. He told me over the phone that as far as he knows, there is no protocol for robberies or any unsafe situations. Luckily, he just handed over the money and didn't get hurt. Back in September of 2017, we told you about several Cleveland Taco Bell employees that armed themselves and killed an intruder that forced them to the floor and held them at gunpoint. I reached out to McDonald's, Burger King, and Dunkin' Donuts locally and to their corporate offices about what exactly the protocols are to keep the employees and their customers safe. I haven't heard back yet from anyone. We are live tonight in South Euclid. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.